Hi, I'm Beck, and food's my life. And just in time for Christmas, I'm making a delicious Italian cake, and it's coming right up. So today I'm making pan forte, which is an Italian cake that literally translates to strong bread. Now the reason why they call it strong is because of its dense, chewy texture and it's also strong in terms of some strong, bold flavours and aromas in the ingredients coming from some gorgeous exotic spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. Originally this cake comes from Siena and although Italians often eat this at Christmas time, they would also enjoy it for any holiday season or any reason to celebrate. This cake brings together a beautiful combination of flavours including a whole array of dried fruits, nuts, chocolate, honey, it's just magic. There are a few ingredients that go into this cake and I have spent probably a good hour just preparing all these ingredients, chopping up the nuts, chopping up the fruits, but once you've got that done it all comes together really quickly and I'm going to show you how. Now, first things first, I have my oven preheating at 150 degrees Celsius and I have prepared a 20 centimeter springform cake tin with some baking paper. I'm just gonna pop that to a side. And now, the first thing we do is we're going to sift in some dry ingredients. So here I have some plain flour and some really good quality Dutch cocoa powder. Sift them together. To this I add some spices. I have a good teaspoon of ground cinnamon here and some beautiful fresh nutmeg. Give those a little stir and now comes all my nuts and fruits. I have some chopped up blanched almonds, chopped up roasted macadamia nuts, some chopped pistachios, and to that I'm also going to add some chopped up dark chocolate. Stir that through. Now comes the fruits. I'm going to start with some orange rind. some chopped up dried apricots some chopped up dried pitted prunes some chopped dried figs and some chopped dried dates. Now I'm using medjool dates but normal dried dates would do. Again, stir this through really thoroughly this time, making sure that all those ingredients are evenly distributed. So I have a medium sized saucepan on a low heat. To this pan, I'm going to add some caster sugar, a little bit of water. And here I have half a cup of really good quality honey. Now I'm going to stir these ingredients together over this low heat until all the sugar has dissolved. So once my sugar dissolved I increased the heat slightly and right now I'm letting this honey syrup boil and I'm going to let that boil now for five minutes. I'm not stirring it, I'm not touching it, I'm just letting it do its thing for five minutes on my timer. Okay, so my syrup has had its time. I'm now going to pour this hot syrup over my lovely ingredients there. Now from here we have to work really quickly because obviously this is a sugar syrup, it's going to start getting firm. So working quickly, I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract at this point. And now we just stir it all together. A 
I find the best way is to wet your hands slightly and just use your hands to push the mixture in firmly into that cake tin. And there you go. Once you're happy with that, we're going to pop that in the oven now for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now this is the smell of Christmas. My house smells amazing right now. But the hardest part is waiting for this to cool down. And that's what we have to do now. We have to wait at least a couple of hours to give this some time to cool down completely. Now once it has cooled down and you've taken it out of the tin, traditionally Italians would coat the top of their panforte with either icing sugar or some more cocoa powder. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna give this one a little cheeky drizzle of white chocolate instead. To serve this cake, cut it in nice little wedges. You don't need too much. A nice small piece I find is just enough with a lovely hot cup of coffee. Savour those beautiful mix of flavours. You're going to love this one. So if you want to have a go at making this awesome Italian pan forte for Christmas for you and your family, then please just check out the description box below. There you'll find a link to my website. Don't forget if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up or don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And that way you'll always know what I'm up to in the kitchen and I'll see you next time.